Good morning. I'm Mary Ellen from the channel Mary Ellen After 60. And today I'm going to do a get ready with me eyes, basically. Uh, believe it or not, this one was requested by several of you. It was a look that I did when I did my yearly skincare update. And I also want to announce two winners of my last giveaway. And today I'm just going to be using brushes from BK Beauty. I had purchased a set and then I purchased two additional brushes and Lisa from BK Beauty sent me her new collection. So I'm going to be using some of those brushes today, but I want to talk a little bit about brushes. I am not a connoisseur. I will tell you that Trish McAvoy, I have purchased a lot of Trish McAvoy brushes. I bought a set and then I bought one every month until I had everything that I wanted and I still love those. I love some of my real techniques and my eco tools. I think somebody who is good with makeup can absolutely use anything if they're just using their fingers. If you're good with makeup, you can do it. There's several things I like about her brushes. They are very gentle on your skin. In the video that I talked about them, I said they are soft where they need to be soft and firm where they need to be firm. Well, I want my tip really soft. I want my tip to move so it doesn't manipulate my skin, whether it's on my eyes or on my face. I tap my skin. I do not massage it. It's I'm 66 years old and I've never had any type of procedures and I don't have any special lighting and I don't use filters. This is just who I am. The way a brush is cut is important because it'll just pick up product more evenly it just makes it easier to do. I've been using makeup for over 50 years and I never liked sponges. That Back in the day, those wedges were really popular. But I found a few brushes even back then and that's how I applied my eye makeup with the exception of the little sponge tips. And I bought some sponge tip because if I want to use any like shimmery shadows on my lids, I, want, I like to use the foam tips is what I'm trying to talk about. What I can tell you, Lisa's brushes are excellent quality. She gives a part of every purchase. She gives it to the Kindness Campaign. That's just her mission. In the video where I spoke about them first, after she saw it, she offered me a 10% discount for my viewers or anybody who wants to use it. It is not anything that I earn money for. It's just a 10% discount for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my Get Ready With Me. Before I get started, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to put on some lipstick and I'm going to do my eyebrows and then I'll do the rest of it. And what I'm going to use is what I think, I think they have quit selling it, but it probably is one of my all time favorites. It's the It Cosmetics uh, Lip Stain in Inspiring Red. And I want, and you can do, what I like about it is you can do just a little or a lot. And I think today I put on a healthy coat of it, but it will literally stain my lips and stay. And I hope they don't quit making them. But, you know, there's another product I have today that they quit making some time ago. And I bought the replacement, what they put out instead. And I have on my um, Tarte Creaseless Eyelid Primer. And then I purchased what the other one from Tarte. And you can see how little I used. I just so disappointing that it's not good. But I will tell you, I learned this from a YouTuber probably about five years ago. If you have an eyelid primer that doesn't work on your eyelids, that it's good to put them, like if you wear glasses, if you put that eyelid primer like where you wear your little things, you know what I'm talking about, uh, it'll keep your makeup on. Now I'm going to put on some brow gel. And I don't have any anything on my brows right now. But I had four, and I told you some time ago I would let you know which was the best. I had um, the Ulta, and one from Sigma, the Anastasia, which I have I like, and I've used I've used it on and off for some time, and the NYX Control Freak, and I'll tell you which one is the best. The NYX Control Freak with the wand from Sigma because it has, and it works and it fits. It has a very short wand and the one from NYX or NYX, it's a regular size mascara wand. So I used the Sigma up and then I put this in that and it works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. 
Okay, on my face, I have the CC Plus powder. I have my IT Superhero Mascara that will be, I'll open a new one the first day of spring, and that's how I keep track of it. Fingernail polish doesn't work, but I, I will throw this away and take my little hair tie. I have that. I have the Milk Navy Eyeliner in my upper waterline. I do have permanent eyeliner. And, I, and that's it. I don't have on any concealer or I, I don't have anything else or primer. Just that's what I've got. The other day I did a get ready with me and it was like really, really long. So I may put some uh, photos in. But this is the number 106 brush from BK Beauty. This knocked my IT Cosmetics dual ended brushes out of first place. And they've been in there for so, so long. What I like about her brushes they are soft where they need to be soft, but they are dense where they need to be dense. They don't give. So I can just get in there and put my powder, and that's the only time I use a brush. If it's foundation, I use my fingers. But I do like powder foundation, and this was this was my favorite, my favorite. So uh, I even use this. I do have pow the CC Plus powder on my eyelids. I always, I usually powder my eyelids gives me a little SPF and I'm going to use a light colored shadow anyway to begin with. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the look that I did in that video and then I'll put on my blush and, and go from there. And I use the Kat Von D palette and I will put it up here. As long as I own this, I will never need to buy a transition color because as you can see on the top, the three colors, those are all perfect for transition. And I use the middle section is what I used. And all of the brushes I'm going to be using are BK Beauty. So this is the number 203. And I'm just going to apply the output number one pretty well all over my eyelids. I'm not the best about recreating looks that I did before. But to my knowledge, this is what I did. And something I want you to notice about brushes how little, I, what I look for in a brush is something that does not move my eyelids around a lot because I think that's part of the reason that my eyelids aren't crepey yet. I mean, they're not youthful, but they're not bad at all. And I think by not manipulating them a lot, and I always look for that in a brush. So if you see me do this and I go right in here and go up to here, and this is an all matte palette, and Makeup Revolution makes one too that I understand is a dupe. I've never tried it, but um, I really do like the Kat Von D. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got this all covered. And I don't use my color switch to clean my brushes. What I use is just a microfiber towel because I don't want to damage them. And I don't know, I mean, I just think they're a better brush. So I, I want to take better care of them. This is the 202 brush. And I'm going to go into number two, the color number two, the shade number two. And I barely, barely have to touch it and I get a ton of it. And I'm just going to go in right above my crease. And I got a lot. I went in too much, but that's okay. We'll just keep making it work. You really have to use very little product when you use these brushes because they do pick up a lot. Let's see, I was a little bit smarter this time. Took less and I won't have to work as hard. I don't, a lot of time, I don't do the V. I mean, I think it all depends on how your eyes are shaped. I like to kind of keep my eyes more open. You know, I don't want to close them in. This kind of is what works for my eye shape. I do like to try different things every now and then. But I've just always kind of flicked it up on the ends right there. And this is a 204, and I don't do this very often, but I'm going to today. I'm just going to go right here, right underneath my eyebrow. And then I'm going to wipe off what I have and go underneath the, back to number two. I'm going to the dark brown again and just go right here. Just a little bit. And I usually go all the way across. Now I'm going to use this really tiny little brush, and I love it. And 
this is what I think makes the look look so much better. And I'm going to go into the black and I'm just, I don't have to load it up very much. I'm just going to click it, hit it a couple of times. And then I'm just going to go right above my lashes. And you don't need anything. You don't need any water. And this is my favorite part. I'm going to make a little wing. And I just look down in my mirror and I put my eyes like this. And I go like that. And I go like that. And if I want it to come up a little bit more, I go out. And there's a little wing. And I'm pretty sure this is the look that I did on my skincare video. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my blush. That small slanted brush that I did the eyeliner with, or the wing with. And these two brushes were given to me by Lisa. This is a 107 brush. This is meant for blush. And this is a 108. And I think, I mean, brushes are a lot of times designed for certain things. This would be a perfect brush for me to just to do an all over eyeshadow look, one eyeshadow. But I think that it was probably the purpose of it was for powder underneath the eyes. Like if you want to set your foundation or for um, blush or highlight. And I don't use a lot of highlights, but I'm going to show you one that I really like today. My favorite blush of all time is from hourglass and it is mood exposure and you know every once in a while i'll say i have a favorite of a different one but this is my go-to i got to get back and use it and i don't use very much and it lasts a long time so i'm going to barely put my brush in there and i've got some on here and i'm just going to go on my cheeks and i like to and i'm going to use the other side i loaded up both sides a little bit and I have always loved kind of a sunburn look. So I kind of put it all over my face. And another product I use, and I only use this when we're going out late afternoon, early evening. And here it is. It's the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders, I think is what it is. Well, I, I used this the other day when I did my Get Ready With Me and we were going out. And I just took the 105 brush and I just went across tapped it off and went ahead and just put it all over and it really looked nice and it felt so good going on I've used this to put on powder foundation too it is a lovely brush I cannot say enough thing, good things about BK Beauty brushes so if I wanted to use it just as a highlight I didn't put hardly any on my face I would use this brush and just go on my cheekbones and it would give just a little tiny bit of shimmer. And that's all I really want is just a little bit most of the time. Sometimes I like to kind of push the envelope. You won't be seeing any exciting travels from Jim and I coming up because something came up and we weren't able to take our trip. But we can reschedule that. Uh, now I want to announce the winners of my last giveaway. I had two winners of the It Cosmetics Lip Trio and the first winner is Amy Williams. Congratulations, Amy. The second winner is Rita W. Congratulations, Rita. And the winner of the It Cosmetics Face Palette is Cat's Mama 54. Congratulations, Kathy. Congratulations to the winners. Make sure you leave a comment below and I will let you know how to get in touch with me. I want to thank you all for watching me. I, um, it, it's still hard for me to believe. It really is. And um, it is all good. You take care and I will see you in my next video. It's, it's been around for a long time, but it's every bit as good as they claim. Anyway. And these two brushes. with the exception